Okay, that was um, Lias and Lucy, and it was uh, recognized on the Charlie Brown Christmas uh, soundtrack. And so I just wanted to give you a tutorial on this way that I've made to play it. And it's uh, it's really the cheater's way because the the thing is that you know it was composed for piano, and piano players have the ability to kind of separate their hands into the, the bass and the um, the uh, melody, of course. And then when you do a guitar, it's even like you have to use the same hand to do the bass and the melody and coordinate both. And so it gets kind of complicated. But So I just developed this way that cheats. And um, if you don't want to do that, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do this very slow. And it would be... with the thumb and you would just have to figure it out very slow <laughs> so this is like I mean this came so natural to me in the other version I would have still like if I would have keep doing the bass I would still be figuring it out unfortunately but okay so enough of that I'm going to uh, go ahead and do the bass line for you we're in drop D the next time around. So it goes. And then we start with the melody. So that's in the form of intervals. Two notes quite at once. And so we do like a D shape without the um, the third. And what I do, I just kind of pick a bass string too. And usually it's this D in the bass, but I'm not even that specific sometimes. I'll, I mean, it doesn't sound bad, so. So we got the D shape, then we move up to the E, about the, uh, the third as well. And then we kind of lower the third in the octave. So. Slide up, and do the bass on again. Okay, and then what we do, uh, it's a G in the bass, so to do that you'd be in the I've got that D shape here, but I just put the uh, fifth with my pinky. It's easier than it looks, all right. So you got that, you got the D, the pinky, and then you uh, do the shapes. So we got that G note, which is on the fifth fret, and the um, shape like a D, but it's an E chord. Okay, and then you're going to play a different bass line. And so you're going to leave the A string out. So you're going to leave your uh, pinky on the... Um, on the G note, and we're gonna have the uh, 
the third and the fourth string open. But we're gonna do the hammer on just the same. So that goes. kind of the, the hit part it goes from a it's a it's a G power chord so that's a G note and instead of like that shape for a power chord because we're so far down we have the root note on the uh, D string we have to move the fifth up here otherwise or, or the octave up here otherwise it's a major seven right so G A okay and then what I do, I go ahead and put the thumb up here and kind of mute some of the other strings in case I hit that randomly, it's going to sound good and full. But really the main thing is... And so that's uh, barring at the A right there. Barring the fifth string, also the B string. to go right back into that uh, regular bass line um, right right away after you get done with it and really the guitarists in the room are going to notice that you're not keeping the bass line up and I, I you know the piano players as well but um, I don't think anyone else is like I had so much fun to play this so I just uh, wanted to share this joy with you I had <laughs> 